This is an update to my DIY racking pin video. A number of viewers on YouTube and Reddit had asked if the pin would scratch the rack. Initially I thought no, but I might have been wrong. There isn't much, but you do see some scratching eventually. And in addition, I'm not a huge fan of the barbell racking directly against the rack either. To prevent the metal on metal contact of the bar and pin, I used a PEX pipe in the original. This video will now add protection to the rack and the pin guards. For this video, we are going to add ultra high molecular weight polyethylene and plastic to the build. I bought a one inch sheet from Amazon for about 20 Canadian dollars. An alternative is to head to your dollar store and pick up a plastic cutting board. They are often made of the same material or similar material and will cost you a dollar. I'll show you the design here and then we'll walk through the build. Firstly, the original. You can see the PEX pipe, the racking pin and the pipe ends. One end goes against the rack and the other stops the bar falling off. My first thought was to go with a circular design which I could cut with a hole saw. I later changed this to using squares of ultra high molecular weight polyethylene for both ease of build and to provide more complete protection for the rack. So the squares would be about the size of my rack upright. Initially, I measured and transferred those measurements over to the plastic, but eventually I took the plastic over to the rack and marked it. I then drew this shape into multiple boxes on the plastic using a thick sharpie to account for the curve of the blade that I was going to use. After that, I cut out the squares. Here I've used a jigsaw, frankly because I was too lazy to get out my table saw from the shed. I didn't set the speed of the jigsaw to exactly the right value for cutting plastic, so I ended up with quite a lot of burrs that I had to trim off with a utility knife. At this point, if you have better skills than I do, you have a set of uniform squares of plastic. If your skills are below mine, then congratulations on your abstract starfish design. Now we find center, which you can do by drawing a straight line from corner to corner. In a square, where they cross is the center, or you could just eyeball it. And for the hole, I use a 7 8 inch bit, but a 1 inch bit would likely be fine. Of course, you could use a hole saw or a large drill bit, but I decided to use a force in a bit. I'm not 100% sure that that was the best idea, but it certainly did work for me. I did try drilling multiple pieces at once, which did not turn out too well, so I went back to one at a time. Your mileage may vary. After that, it's time for a dry fit. I can now trim down the PEX pipe to size, and we're good. Well, almost. I want the end protectors to be fixed for the pipe end flanges. After marking, I drilled out the holes, then countersank them, but after screwing it all together, I'm really quite happy with it. The screws give me a great place to grip the pin so that I can remove the flanges from the rack, but the bar can still move horizontally and the rack doesn't get damaged as I bash the barbell around. I hope you enjoy this video. Consider linking and subscribing, and I'll catch you on the flippity flop.